Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Z, and today we are on episode 5 of our Darwinian campaign in Divide and Conquer. And we've done so much in our four episodes up to now. We've pretty much nearly destroyed Rune already. Playing on very hard, very hard, remember guys, of course, as well. Yes. Uh, they did manage to take Lest back last turn, but we also absolutely destroyed Jarsur's army over here, which was so nice. It was fantastic. Uh, really enjoyable. <laughs> the AI def definitely didn't just bug out. But anyway, <laughs> we'll ignore that. And uh, we'll come down here. And it's got a nice few uh, watchtowers around Mistrand already. So we're going to go straight in for that settlement. And it is... All of this is Step of the Wayne Rider. So this is the last settlement on this eastern border in the south. So we're going to go straight for it. Get, a, get down there, get it taken. And then up here in Elgair, we are, you know, going to try and get them happy. And maybe try and send up, uh, you know, a vineyard bowman in a couple of turns. Uh, before going up to Rubar and then across to Wintirian Oryar and Condovan. And then we'll have the whole Sea of Rune to ourselves. And we'll be making an absolute fortune. <laughs> We're not making a huge amount of money just yet, but we'll be making a lot. What I think we're going to do over here is we're going to try the draw out battle. Lift the siege. It still had like six turns on the siege left. Worst case scenario, you know, they ran away there. But look at this army. It's it's so damaged. It's so damaged. Um, I could do with a, with, a, with a mercenary, but we don't have any. Just, just to take on that cavalry unit because that is a really really good cavalry unit the horse archers um but i'm sure we'll be fine we only have two units of infantry though so we're gonna have to spread out pretty thinly uh but hopefully if we move in quick enough we can take out this guy first and remember we've got to take out both of them go for the night attack no uh, so let's fight the battle i will see you on the battle map guys so we know what the ai's like they will probably be right on top of this hill so um you know we're gonna have to uh, play it carefully uh, ish got these boys in the middle here and we've also got our two units of archers who are gonna try to focus down the horse archers uh, uh yeah yeah you can see they're right on top of the hill and remember you know we've got to go for killing as all of these guys in order to take the city i mean worst case scenario we don't kill all of them and we don't take the city then we just siege it down and, and go after it and we've killed enough of them so that the siege won't uh, result in us losing many men uh, but here comes the second army i wonder whether we could like cut them off i think we're a bit too far away and we'll get a little bit too tired although they're all the way down there what if we do that? What if we do try that? I think they're just... Yeah, they're just a bit too far ahead of us to risk that. So, let's keep on going. Just walking up. We don't need to uh, sprint. Uh, yeah, keep on going, guys. Keep on going. If they, you know, if they combine their forces, that's actually better for us. Because, you know, we've got a better take on how many men we need to kill. Which is all of them. <laughs> So, let's get our archers in place. And ideally, once our archers are in here, they can start firing at the Baroon ride Riders. Not quite yet. Oh, here they come. Just fire at them. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Fire at them. They're, oh, they're doing such a, such damage. We can't do anything but fire at, fire back at them. Luckily, they are focusing down the Vineyard Bowmen who are trash. So, you know, our Moriquendi Sentinels should do a lot of damage against them. God, our Elven Troops are just so good, aren't they? Uh, when they go into Cantabrian Circle, though, it's it's quite a good little, uh, little uh, anti-archer tactic. You know, our arrows just don't do as much damage anymore. Because they're all running around like crazy people in a circle. Let's speed it up. Okay, here comes the uh, his general's bodyguard. Let's get 
these guys back here to get in a nice position. Cavalry wise, let's get our cavalry around this side, ready to charge into the enemy. You guys, do we want spear shield wall? I'm. Someone let me know, but I, I don't think shield wall is actually that good against infantry, is it? Just make sure you guys are firing at them. You guys can fire at the Lokrim bodyguard. Yeah, and this is just a bit of a skirmish, skirmish effort right now. Oh, they've got these guys over here. Let's go for the charge on them. Come on, boys. Let's go. We should be able to just shred them with this charge from the Thorn Riders. Though the Thorn Riders are a pretty trash unit. Oh, look at that. That has just ruined them. Remember, we've got to kill all of these guys. So, let's get out. Go with one more charge to just destroy them, really. Let's see how the shield wall does against the uh, Lokrim bodyguard. Well, ideally, we need to kill these guys with our archers. So, who are you firing at? Fire at the Balkov tribesmen. Um, you guys, let's go for a charge on the Daratai hunters again. You're just going to have to, you know, suck it and enjoy the pain right now. The Thorn Blazemen, unfortunately. We've got more important things to worry about. I kind of want this guy to come round and, uh, and attack that Locrim bodyguard. That should have just wiped them out. Let's go for the Light of Elbrith. We hardly ever use the Light of Elbrith more than once. So let's go for a charge into the back of the Locrim bodyguard just for now. You guys keep firing on them. You guys can fire at the Dragon Guard. This charge should be quite nice. They've got 64 men right now. Let's see how they are after the charge. Might get a little bit caught by the Dragon Guard. But I'm going to try and get out of out of here as quick as possible. Let's go. Get out. Or get out. Probably over here is the better option. Yeah, kill 10 of them on the charge. And we lost quite a lot of our Thorn Riders there. Maybe a bit of a mistake. But oh well. We still have Moriquendi Sentinels that are, you know... In our army, so I don't think it's too much of a worry. God, the Thorn guys got killed so badly there. Um, so get over that way. Thorn Bladesmen are just doing as much as they can. We ideally need to, uh, you know, get round. So let's uh, keep on coming up this way. Come on, boys. And ideally getting rid of these Baroon Riders because they're just so annoying. Ah, oh, I see how annoying it is when I... Uh, when I go on a uh, Rome, uh, Rome Total War and just use full horse stack armies now. <laughs> They've got the Marines as well. We've got to be careful of them. So let's come uh, through. See if we can get them before. The come on, guys. God damn. I hate it when they just stand still. What are you doing? You idiots, bro. You're just going to let yourself die like that? I don't respect you if you do that. Come on. Get moving. Get moving, you absolute slugs. Okay, this has been a bit of a sloppy battle. I have just recorded three episodes in a row, though, so that's probably why. But you'd think I'd be, uh, you know, on a good game if I if I recorded a few episodes in a row. So that's the general of the trash army, who was an Udegi Marine. Let's get out once again. Charge those Daratai hunters. See if you can take them out all in one. And charge back. Yeah, I know. It's not great, is it? How much? How many? How many missiles do these guys have? They have so many. Now let's go for a charge. We are charging into spearmen. That's one of the issues. But they're such a small unit that I thought we could just, you know, get through them. Get into the marines. Then we can start charging these guys in the back and hopefully doing some damage. So let's go. Um, you guys keep firing at these. That, that, you know, you're the only unit that can actually make a difference there. We've routed these guys, it looks like. So let's come back. Uh, Privateer, Axeman, Thorn Guard, get into there. Oof, it's been quite a brutal battle this really, hasn't it? Luckily we do have some nice reinforcements on the way. Hoping we can beat these guys in melee. It looks like we can, just about. Probably due to the Privateer Cavalry. And then we've got one big issue, which is the uh, the Locrim bodyguard. Right, let's get away. 
And we're going to come round, and we're going to charge the Locrian bodyguard. Let's go for the Light of Elbereth again. So, let's get in the back. Go on, boys. Big charge. We have lost, like, so much of our cavalry in this. Get it on normal speed. Sorry, I didn't realize it was on double speed then until they were running quite fast. And I was like, why are they running so fast? Okay. Yeah, our infantry has taken a batter, batter, battering. So, I think it's probably time to get the Moriquendi Sentinels in there. Our poor cavalry is really shredded as well. Here come the Moriquendi Sentinels. Come on, boys. Let's go. Oh, they are such a beautiful looking unit, aren't they? Let's get over this side. They've still got Dragon Guard in there as well. Oh, the cavalry has just been shredded. Made a few mistakes in this battle, but... You know, you're never going to be perfect, are you? But this is probably one of the worst battles we've fought. Um... But we'll take Viltor, and, you know, that'll be that'll be that. And Rune is pretty much done at this point. It's We're only five episodes in, and Rune is done. Let's speed it up. And get out. So, yeah. If they want to just leave my Mori Quendi Sentinels to just fight the, uh, the Dragon Guard, that is fine by me. Oh, God. The cavalry. Hopefully some of them get healed, but I doubt it. We'll have to get some more... <laughs> I have to get some more mercenaries. The two men. Come on, men. The two remaining men of your units. I wonder whether this charge will break them. The two men charge. Watch it. Let's see. Oh, they already were broken. This is the problem now. If we, you know, I'm going to save my cavalry now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you guys after them. Because you should be faster than them. You guys fire at them your last couple of volleys. That'll be nice. Come on, fire. Why are you firing that way? Fire this way, you fools. This way. Get your last volley off, guys. Come on. The last couple of arrows, and then we shouldn't have a problem fighting this Logrim bodyguard, to be honest. We've just got to make sure we kill the general. Well, that was a lot more brutal than I was expecting. They've still got one more, it looks like. One more volley, boys. Let's go. That should be quite brutal. Nice. Let's go. Charge. And we should beat them. That's the worst charge I've ever seen. But okay. It got better in the end. <laughs> that was quite good, actually. Killed a few men. Um, are you chasing them down? I don't see them. Oh, yeah, you are. You're faster than them. Good. And we'll get our cavalry round here just to pounce on them just in case. Let's speed it up. Yeah, the Moriquendi Sentinels are really good in melee. Not just great archers. Look at that. Shredding them. They're not really killing many of my men as well. And luckily, we can see Norway. There's Norway. Just on the end there. And he's not even uh, in the fight, which is great. So there's no chance of him dying just yet. Good, we killed him. That should be it then. Fantastic. Yeah, we killed so many of them. They've got no men left. Viltor. Should be ours, but oh, brutal, brutal, brutal. We've got a healing on the Thorn Bladesman and the Thorn Guard. Actually, none of the cavalry, so the cavalry are probably gone. Ah, oh, well, I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Let's uh, execute once again. That's another one of their leaders dead. So, I don't think Rune is dead yet, though. They still have some, some people. Let's occupy Viltor. It shouldn't be too bad. A grain exchange is a nice building for them to have built for us. Uh, and like I say, we're going to save our money just for now. And we're going to have to stay in Viltor, aren't we? God, some of these units have taken a battering. An absolute battering. Uh, but luckily, we're getting our reinforcements and we can come around and take uh, Dorthulau. And uh, what's this one called? Varfest. Nice. Nice. Bur Emericus as well will probably have to be taken back. Uh, up here, how are we doing? We're fine. Could do with recruiting one of these units to stick in Elgair. And we should check that at some point, you know. Who is manning these places? Like, a Thorn Crossbowman is not a good garrison in there. They could actually be used on the battlefield quite effectively. Well, not quite effectively. They're Crossbowmen at the end of the day. <laughs> a little bit effectively, anyway. <laughs> 
Um, and we need more generals. Why have we got so few generals? I thought we'd have more um, adoptions going on by now. Because we've got so many settlements and not quite... Well, maybe we do have more generals because three generals are actually in the in the field fighting. So, But anyway, let's uh, end the turn. I'm glad we've taken Viltor and we've finally destroyed that massive army uh, that was a bit of a menace. Dennis the Menace of armies it was. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get a load of watchtowers around this region as well. But not quite yet. We won't, we won't be able to quite yet. Uh, once we've got generals in these regions, they can go around plopping watchtowers down. So, you know, it, it, it looks a lot nicer with the watchtowers down. I know it's a bit of a waste of money, but it's only a waste of 15 gold. It's not a waste of a lot of money. So, <laughs> they actually left Bur Americus. It's probably because we're, you know, marching through their lands and they can see us doing so. So, yeah, that's fine. Again, we'll need some vineyard levies for a few of our armies. Imladris is besieged. Oof. Ithilien is reclaimed. Wow. Edwardin's regiment, not willing to allow the Avari to claim all the glory. Edwardin, a famed tournament champion from Santanwi, has mustered a large contingent of Northmen to fight with the Avari. Fantastic. Oh, great. So these are the units that we could have got if we'd gone with the human uh, the human choice rather than the elven one. So let's have a look. This is really an actually unreal unit, to be fair. The Vitna Court Paladins. Look at those. They're, they're just, a, just a little bit worse than the Lok in Asrim. So 14 attack, 9 charge, 23 defense. And they have a bonus fighting cavalry as well. So we could have got those guys. We could have also got these Vitna uh, Darwinian Swordmasters, which when you look at it, that 12 defense again is not great. But 11 attack, they're just a bit better than the... Um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, where are they? Where do we have them? We have them in this army, don't we? Then these guys, the Darwinian... Wait. Oh, no, they, they are... Those are the Darwinian Swordsmasters. We, we can already recruit them. They're just medium tier. There's also the Vitna Court Knights, which are pretty nice. 1425. Um, and then we've got the Regent Bogard... 8, 10, 15, and it's effective against armor, but again, it's a crossbow, so it's not really very good. And then we've got our armor-piercing unit, which is 10 attack and 15 defense. And then the Regent Spear Guard, which we've already seen with 4th win, 8 and 20, which I... Can we not get, though? I don't think we can get those. Uh, but anyway, Edwardin, fantastic. Sounds good. What shall we do with you, my friend? You are over here, so... Oh, Condovan's been taken by Dale. So what it might be worth doing is actually going straight for Wintirian Yar with you. Uh, where's my boat? Over here. So let's get you in the docks over there. And in fact, we could come down here. They haven't actually attacked us with our boats yet. So, yeah, while, uh, you know, they've taken Condovan, which is a bit annoying... I really want to grab Wintirian Yar then, and these guys can then move on to that Easterling town up that way. Let's, while we're here, let's recruit, or we can recruit another general. So let's do that and get the Vineyard Bowman. And then secondly, let's get to Santanui and get that Avari Barracks. So compared to those units, we can see, um, let's have a look at that. We get the Avari Shadows, which... Great missile unit. The Avari Spearman, which 22 defense is great. And the Avari Warriors, 20 defense. So, And then the Avari Naharim as well, which, although the Vitna Court Knights are very good, you know, a missile cav unit that's elven is just really fantastic. High, ac high accuracy. They also have a bonus against any horses and Easterling Cataphract Cavalry, which is brilliant. Uh, so I think we've made the right choice. And then we get the Moriquendi as well after that which is so good. So let's get that barracks in. It only takes four turns to build. I thought it was 5,000. Oh, I guess it's because we've got the, the Mason's Hall and probably uh, some bonus from something else in there. So I do want to build this Lord's Hall probably in, maybe not Karasant. All of these places are towns, aren't they? Town, town, town. Is this a town? Town, uh... That's a town. So there's not that many 
we don't really have many, you know, strongholds in this region. This is a stronghold, but that's a bit too far away for recruiting. So I would quite like to get some nice recruitment options over this way. Probably in Mataran, honestly. But let's go and uh, siege it down. And it's only a town, which is not great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these guys are all towns. So it's probably Karasant where we really want to upgrade. But while we can't upgrade in there, let's go to Vilta. Let's build the roads in there because it'll allow, you know, reinforcements, that sort of thing from Santamui. So much quicker. But Ed Edwardin, I, I forgot about him. Fantastic. That is really cool. I'm so glad we've got him. And then for recruitment up in this region, we can go for an Alanin. Also, Karasant, like I've said, we want to do that. Uh, spy guy. Let's keep coming through this way. I think actually what we'll do is we'll come down towards the Black Gate and see how Mordor's doing and whether they want to, you know, come around anyways and, and face us, which hopefully they don't, but... <laughs> You never know. You never know. Mordor always likes to stack uh, loads of Morgul rats together and try and attack you. I honestly think, you know, we might kill them off quite soon because they probably don't... Although those both those guys are both family members rather than anything else. Hmm. Can we take you out? No, not quite yet. But next turn, we'll recruit these guys. And we'll send one down south, one up north. So then hopefully Fourth Wind can keep going and get up to Rubar. We should probably get our spy and actually have a look up in the north at some of these settlements to see whether, you know, the, the dwarves have taken them yet. Because they'd be nice to add to the collection, wouldn't they? <laughs> uh, always nice to add to the collection. But yeah, oh, geez, we're in such a good position, really. Let's have a look at our spies then. So you're there. Cool. You're there. And yeah, you're going towards Baradur. Baradur reached. Mount Doom reached. Ah, hello, the Witch King of Angmar. Oh my days. Look at that army. Holy trash. Holy trash. He has temple knights, though, the Witch King of Angmar. And they're a scary, scary unit. Shivus has temple wards as well. Um, oh, here's uh, Ganalton. Oh, he's got two. Zagar's got his temple marksman. And Ganalton has temple wards as well. So they do have some nice units in there. No trolls or anything yet, but it's all right. We just want to have a look around, a poke around, have a look at, see how they're doing. Uh, see how easy it'll be to get up the backside of them because that's going to be soon. We're going to be up the backside of them very soon, in fact. So, yeah, money-wise, you know, we're not doing fantastically, but we've have, you know, we've been focusing so hard on military that it's really not mattered. It's honestly really not mattered. And it's nice getting a bit of cash. Mistrand definitely after this building, we need to get a port. And then what we'll look at doing is building up its recruitment capacity as well because you've got a large population as well. So it'd be nice to get a few recruitment options in there. We could actually go for this fight now. Um, let's wait another couple of turns. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look, shall we? How many ladders do we have? Yes, my lord. We've got six ladders. So one for everyone. We've actually not... I don't think we've seen the High Paladins at all. So far. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> um, but let's fight the battle anyway. Let's uh, let's get in there. Let's get rid of him. He has normal Lokrim bodyguard, which are great. Effective against armor is just so powerful uh, in this game. So let's get in there and I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. My one major concern here is that the uh, they stick their javelin men on the, on the walls again. So what we're going to do, we're going to really spread out and hopefully, you know, we'll take a bit of fire from the uh, from the towers if they are nearby. But I'm hoping if we, you know, spread out a little bit, we'll be okay. We'll also get the High Paladins. We've not actually seen these guys in battle at all. And I love the look of their unit because they're a, a mixture of the, like, the Vintner, kind of Vintner Court Knights with uh, the two-handed sword rather than the, the sword and board. And the Moriquendi uh, sort of sentinels or the, the, the Moriquendi elves. So I just love that 
It's really cool. Right, let's, uh, yeah, we'll send you around here. I can't even remember your name, bro, but... Oh, well, you're not, you're not, you're not terribly important to me. <laughs> Once again. So they, yeah, they've gone for the front. And what we're going to do, we're going to use our, our archer guys over here to just really, you know, soak the, soak the fire. You can run as well. And then, uh, you can run. And where are you? You're all the way around this side. You can run as well. So hopefully these guys will soak all the fire of these guys. Um, I say guys a lot, don't I? I need, really need to stop. I say it so much. But our high paladins are a good unit. Uh, let's pause. I don't think they're effective against armor, but they have 14 attack. So, you know, I don't think they'll take the Lok Rim on them by themselves. It'll be really close. Uh, it'll be really close between them. But, you know, they'll do some decent damage anyway. What we'll do is we'll get the Thorn Bladesman in here and hopefully try and surround the Lok Rim bodyguard. Come on, guys. Get up the towers. Get up. These guys are not even taking fire, which is fantastic. These guys are a little bit. Let's speed it up. These guys are getting up on the walls now. Fantastic. They're all running away. Which is never good for them. These guys are getting shredded. Get up there. Go fight them. We're going to get our High Paladins down. We're going to try... Yeah, we'll probably fight those guys from the front. And then when these guys are up here, like these guys, we'll probably come around this way. And if these guys will follow as well, that'd be great. Let's speed it up again. We don't need to take so much time on these battles, do we? Uh, if they're running away... We've captured the enemy's wall. Uh, yeah, these guys are coming down now. Great. So let's get... If we get you guys up here. And these fellas are over here. They're fellas, not guys. <laughs> the battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. So if we get the High Paladins to fight these guys from the... Ah, no! <laughs> fight these bastards from the front. And we get the, uh, the Thorn Blazeman from the back. So speed it up, and hopefully our plan will be in place very soon. And we can leave the Vineyard Bowman over here. And we'll start bringing Paladins through. Yep, let's go. Get in there, get in there, quick. Stop them from taking taking back the city. And then we'll surround them with the High Paladins. Oh no, where's our other guy gone? Oh, there we are. Get in the town square, my friend. The Thorn Bladesmen, you know, I'm very impressed by them. They're not great. They're not a great unit. But they've done plenty well enough. Get these guys down here. These Thorn um, Guardsmen. I, I really like that unit as well. Like, it seems so bad with that three attack. But their defense and everything has been fantastic. You guys go into there. You fellas. <laughs> And we'll get these fellas over that way. So come on, High Paladins. Let's get you in the fight. And my archers can actually now get in position and start firing down on these boys. So High Paladins should just shred. Oh my god! Look how much they're shredding! They just ruined them on that charge. Charge! Come on, boys. Nice. You should be able to fire now. So fire down there. Now we'll fully surround them. Absolutely ruin them, hopefully. The High Paladins will do so much damage. Get in there. Man, now it's just a grind fest. Are they tired? Oh, they're very tired. Get in there. Get in. Get your spear wall done. Poor. And they're not on the uh, town square as well, so they can rout. The city. Oh, the. the uh, unfortunately, the Ro Lokrim bodyguard is going to just shred through our Thorn Bladesmen, unfortunately. They're all tired as well from running and carrying the ladders. I'm just hoping our, our guy doesn't die. That would be a bit annoying. 
but we've just completely destroyed everyone else, haven't we? Get that Lokrim bodyguard. They've not got many left. This poor Thorn Blazeman's just been shredded. They will be merged into the other unit, unfortunately. But there we are. General's dead. That should be battle over. Nice. Fantastic. So, uh, it was pretty equal. Uh, but, you know, a lot of those were Vineyard Bowman luck. 138. And also the Thorn Bladesman took an absolute battering uh, as well. But the High Paladins, 184 casualties. <laughs> pretty nice. Fantastic. The first time we've seen them in action. And they're a pretty nice unit. So, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And Lest again is ours. So, hopefully that doesn't trigger another Doomstack. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be a bit annoying, but it's fine. Um, I don't want to sack just in case the port gets destroyed. So let's occupy once again. Get it down to low. And we're happy, aren't we? He was going to stay in here anyway. Can we leave by leaving? Oh, not quite yet. If we leave the Vineyard Bowman in there, though. Yeah, that's 70%. So these fellas... They're going to come and join over there. That's quite a long way for them to go, isn't it? Um, do we have anything else to do? I don't believe so. Boats moved. Edward Inn's over there. These are, are all in here. You're coming to reinforce. Probably leave the Vineyard Bowman again behind, but... It'd be nice if we could recruit, you know... Oh, we can. So if we get those... Uh, those two units in there, that'll be great because then we can use them to garrison Viltur, uh, Dorthalu, and Elgair, is it? No, Varfest, sorry. Right, let's uh, let's end the turn. And how many turns is that? Four turns until that's done. Fantastic. Oh, some lovely, lovely, lovely battles going on here. Ah, Vale of Darwinian is just... It's relaxing, isn't it? It's not that hard. Quite nice. Um, quite relaxing. Imagine Dale attacked us now. That would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be really funny. Oh, no. They've instantly blockaded the port. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to be dead soon, Rune. So, I really don't care about your ships. I hope those ships just die when they die rather than becoming rebels. But they might become rebels, but... If they do become rebels, I don't think they'll, you know, wreak too much havoc. Go up to uh, Esgaroth. Go blockade them. That would be funny. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> uh, right. Edward in. Get on the boat, my friend. Oh, we just about can't reach. Edward in can get off. What I might do is just get Edward in off. No, actually, I won't because if they have a rebel army around there, we'll be screwed. Mistran got the tomb, which is nice. That's fantastic. And let's uh, recruit these uh, units. I'm trying really hard not to say guys. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, we don't need that unit in there. Right. Let's uh, see whether we can leave the Vineyard Bowman behind. And they'll be okay. No, they'll be far, far from okay if we do that. So we will need this unit up here to manage it. Looks like they're coming to attack. Oh, they've got Ballista as well. But again, same thing. If they take Ostineri, we've not really lost anything there, have we? So I'm not bothered about that. We'll just send this army back down there. What I will do, though, is send our Thorn Riders back for retraining. Have we got any more? We've got those Thorn Riders. That's fine. You're going for retraining, yep. In terms of the cash, you know, we're not flush with cash, but we're not in a terrible situation either. Um, these fellas are coming down to Mataram. What is Mataram? Oh, it's just a wooden wall as well. Oh, you do like to tease me, don't you, game? Uh, I think I might wait one more turn just for a couple more rams. Uh, just because if, if it's a good wooden wall, it'll, it will burn those rams, and then we'll have to retreat, and then we'll have wasted another couple of turns. So, you know, waiting an extra turn is never a problem, really. Uh, not going to slow us down from our monstrous conquest we're going on right now. Uh, yeah, you keep... I think what we'll do is keep a watch on Burr Alga, really, because that's the that's the trigger. If, if Dale takes that, then we need to, you know, rush and take Rawberg and stuff. And what we'll probably use, we'll probably use Edwardin in uh, the west to fight Dolgador. And we'll use 
the elves here in the east uh, to uh, fight Mordor and the rest, the remnants of Rune. Right then. I probably sent the wrong unit then. I probably should have kept one bowman and one spearman. Two bowmen is, is not great, but it's not a problem either. Um, I mean, they're just not going to do as much damage to a, a, an attacking army because as soon as one of them's in melee, they're screwed. <laughs> so, hmm, hmm. So, yeah, let's have a look. Bazaar. Is there anything else? We really want that port in there, but can't afford it right now. That's fine. Could go for the meeting hall up here. That would be quite nice. Um, that will give us a bit of extra lore, so hopefully it won't, you know, we won't die. How far can you go? You can actually reach us. That's a slight bit of a problem. But yeah. Okay, Erebor has taken this settlement up this way. So we'll just go east and see whether they've taken all the way down to Rune. Um, but as long as we control the Sea of Rune, we're going to be rich as hell. And we'll also, you know, we'll control... A large part of the southern bank of the Kelduin as well, if we take uh, all the way up to uh, Rawberg and stuff. Okay, they've gone and attacked us twice. That's fine. Again, it's not a huge worry. Just annoying because we're occupying a lot of these places. They're not happy with us. Um, but oh well. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? And again, if they take Ostinary, it won't be a problem whatsoever. It'll be fine. We'll be plenty happy. I hope uh, in Mataram they've built watchtowers down the southern border so we can see if Khand decides to uh, have a cheeky little attack. Approaching quietly. So this might stretch. Skarn might stretch the whole way across here. And if it does, I think the, the, I think that's it. It's just these two regions and Skarn. And I think it is. I, shall continue tomorrow. I think it is that, so we'll see. Two settlements have been besieged. Yes, we know. Lest again. Hmm. I don't think we're going to struggle defending that, honestly. Don't think they'll have much. You know, unless they've got a really elite unit. They definitely don't have a general in there. So, I honestly don't think we're going to struggle too much defending it. If we take three vineyard levies out. Yes, fantastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send the two vineyard bowmen north. And I'm going to send these boys south. These guys can come south as well. Uh, Burr, Emerikis, Austin, Eri. You get back to Santanwi. Right, let's see whether we can leave now. How unhappy are you? 30%. <laughs> If we had, say, that unit, because we're going to have 200 in there, it's only at 60% still. It's not fantastic, is it? It's really not great. Did I manage to recruit a general here? No, not quite yet. One more turn. I'm going to send these... Uh... Oh, they did come and try and attack us, but they didn't quite get the... Uh... Get the time. Oh, I should have... Uh... I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's see how our, uh... our boats do. Quite well, apparently. I don't know why I didn't just drop them off there, but it, it was risky taking that naval fight. I should have just dropped them off, picked them back up, and then uh, then gone across. But that's fine. Um, right then, let's... This unit can come down to Viltor as well. That can start garrisoning down here. We'll retrain you. No more units of that type available for retraining. Four more turns until we can retrain them. And we'll start be able to start recruiting the Avaris, which it only needs 50% Northman culture for, which is fantastic. Um, and hopefully we can... Let's have a look at the uh, the barracks. Let's see whether we can uh, build the next one straight away as well. The Avari Armory requires a Royal Hall. No, we got the Lord's Hall, so we'll need to then build... The Royal Hall, which will be seven turns, and it costs 3,000. Ah, that's fine. Not much of a worry. You guys keep coming up. Spies. 
Let's have a look. Zunul. Let's look at the Black Gate. The Last Alliance as well. Durthang. And then we'll come around this way to make sure we, we see all the different regions in, in this area. Uh, in terms of our other spy, you're up here. Yeah. And then this spy is just taking a look at Beralga. Good. If Dale sieges this down now, I'm going to be absolutely fuming. Can you imagine? <laughs> Dale just skips in through. I'm going to be so angry. Or imagine the dwarves take Rudar. <laughs> that would just be awful. It would not be a happy time. <laughs> but anyway, it's fine. Whatever happens, it's all good. It's all good. Right, we are going to take this fight. We're not going to win it. But we'll do it nonetheless, just to try and do as much damage as possible. They've only got one ram, and they've got a ballista. So the ballista will knock down the gates, slash the walls. And luckily, we have a vineyard levy in there. I don't... I must have... Uh, oh, yeah, I recruited it. So let's uh, get into the fight, guys. I'll see you there. Here we are. And unfortunately, you know, that, that ballista is going to do some serious damage. Uh, but if we can get our men, our archers up here, I think we'll be good. If they will fit up here. Hopefully they do. So let's just get them that way. This other archer. Do we want to just go central maybe? Probably. So let's just keep you there. And you guys can get across here. You fellas can get across there. <laughs> uh, let's speed it up. Very likely that they're not going to use the ram. Just use the ballista. You know, if they make more than one breach, we'll, we're, we're screwed anyway. So, I mean, we're screwed anyway, but even more screwed if they make more than one breach. So, and I hope they don't destroy the towers. It would be quite funny if they did that. They're, they looks like they're missing right now. Are oh, they going for this wall? <laughs> Weird. And I'm glad we're kind of we're kind of out, out of the way of the ballista as well. If they do go for that wall, what I might do is through the walls. Fight on. They must get no further. They're going to come charging in now. Probably? Or are they not? Looks like they're going for the gate now. Okay. Don't waste, waste all your ammo, bros. That's fine. Oh, God. God, that is not the position I wanted you in. Get up on the hill so you can fire over the wall. They're going for the wall either side of the gate. It's quite strange. <laughs> but anyway, we're not getting shot by them yet, so that's fine. Speed it up. Come on, guys. Get in get an attacking AI. You, we've literally got levies, bro. <laughs> They're rubbish. They're awful. The enemy are, through the walls. Fight on. are they just gonna use all of their um their ammo before they attack? Looks like they are. That's so annoying. Come on, guys. It's just pointless. Attack me. <laughs> there they go. Good. So, let's get our levies spread out. Now it's time to, uh, yeah, fire into the Dragon Riders. You guys fire them. It's going to, you know, do a bit of friendly fire, but not too bad. And now it's just a... Um, fire at them, actually, rather than firing the friendly fire. I'm sure our spearmen can do okay against the dragon riders. So, you guys fire at the, those guys as well. You guys fire at those guys, yep. Yeah. Not saying guys anymore. <laughs> Working well. Shoot the Daratai warriors. You guys shoot in here. That should do some really good damage. It's a great position to be in from this side. And look how many we've killed. 30% of this army already. Really nice. Really, 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 really nice. Fantastic amount of damage from those archers. That's all we could really ask for. And they're just firing point blank into them. But, you know, this is where we die now. Unfortunately, I don't think we can win this. Yeah, there's not any chance we can win it now. Our poor... Uh, yeah, that's our general gone as well. Oh, God. <laughs> These guys are actually shaken. 
No, there's no chance we can, you know, win now. These ones are running. Get here. If you could fire on some of these boys, might actually be quite useful. Oh, these guys won. That's mad. Does they, we've really destroyed most of their army. Our army is tiring. But that is us done, unfortunately. That was so close. Closer than I expected, anyway. Uh, we killed 400 of those boys. <laughs> bowmen doing fantastic. You can see, even though these bowmen are absolutely rubbish in terms of their stats, bowmen in this mod just make so, such a difference. They're so powerful. What beasts. What fantastic beasts. <laughs> well, I'll see you on the campaign map. There it goes. Oh, well. I mean... It was kind of out there anyway. It's surrounded by enemies, so... Viltor is the better option. And we'll probably... Should we go for Austin Eri next? And then go for the one on the edge? I'm not sure. Um, I guess we'll see. Uh, we, we can't really leave Viltor yet, though. That's, that's another problem. They might have sacked the settlement, which will help with our public order if we go and join as well. Um, they might destroy our standing stones, though, which... I don't know. Did we have standing stones there? Not 100% sure. Ah, oh, finally, another general. Yes, oh, this might allow us to leave as well. Um, so if we... Leave. Just... So he's so happy. So we'll send... We can send these vineyard bowmen up north as well. I'm going to auto-resolve... Am I going to auto-resolve this? Yeah, good. I was thinking... I thought we might, you know, get killed then again by the auto-resolve. And what we'll do, we'll get the Rovanian riders because we've got enough infantry. Although we have privateer cavalry. So I might get the Privateer Axemen as well. Cell Swords and Privateer Axemen, some very nice units. Um, and that should be enough to take on these guys. I No, I'm, I'm happy just to siege them down. It's only a four-turn settlement. So there we are. And now Wintirian Ra is your, uh, your as well. And that's only a three-turn settlement. So we'll probably just... Both of those will just siege them down. And Alwis. So faction announcements. Alwis. Uh, yeah, Captain, whatever. Settlement occupied, Austin Eri, we know. Construction of the meeting hall in Elgair. That's definitely going to help out. And we'll try and send these boys up there as well once uh, next turn comes around. Elgair is quite rich for a castle as well. Very nice. Uh, Mistrand, we really want to build that port at some point. I'll get these boys in there, into the army. And, uh, yeah, we'll go for that battle in a second. Burr Emerikis. Hmm. Let's have a look to see whether, if we leave now, leave these boys behind. How's Viltor looking? 55. That's not actually too bad. 65. That's really not bad. Um, uh, I, it's, I mean, it'll take a couple of turns. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can leave. They'll riot a little bit. Um, and kill some of the population, and then. <laughs> It'll be fine, but I guess we'll I guess we'll find out anyway. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm glad we're sieging down Wintirian Ra. We're up to Rubar in the north. All right, let's take a uh, Mataram. Got six rams, so we've got plenty. And again, Gotig, and then these guys are just Balkov tribesmen, so they're trash. Um, so hopefully we can just shoot them to death, really, with all that with our crossbowmen and our two archer units. So. Let's see. I will see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. A nice clear day. Um, and we want probably these thorn riders, thorn guys, to, to take the worst ramp. Then we'll use the thorn guard over on this side. 
And we'll use maybe the Amanyar. Oh, God. Amanyar. Not Amanyar. These Swordmasters over this side. Uh, the rest of you don't need rams anymore. So get them down. And then on this this flank, what we'll do, they're probably likely to have you know most of their men over here. So we'll have all our archers and crossbowmen over this side. We'll also carry probably two units of infantry. So you are all a group. And then on this side, we'll get you and the cavalry. Uh, and you guys can be a group as well. And then these boys can come over this side. Bit overthinking it, really, but you don't know where they're going to uh, going to mark. So why have they gone? Why are they over there? <laughs> That's a bit dumb, but oh well. That allows us to get close to the gates without getting shot. Um, nice and early. So let's go. And then what we'll probably do... Uh, no, I'm not bothered about those Balkoff guys. We've got our horses over here that can do some damage when they need to. So let's speed it up. Nice and speedy. Looks like they're coming to mark this side, which, you know, is okay. Not too bothered by that. It's the clansmen over this side. And then what have we got over this side? The general's just coming into the center. That's fine. If they come close to the front, we'll uh, get forward. Oh, we've already destroyed one of the gates. Fantastic. So ideally, I want to, you know, fire at the, the Lokinas Rim. And we're already firing at them. Uh, so let's just slow everything down. Let's come forward. You thorny boys can come through. If you go and attack them, whichever side you go to... Oh, here's the tribesmen. Look at them. The battle is very much captured the enemy's walls. Let's uh, attack the Barkov tribesmen. And we're coming through the walls to do it. Nice. Uh, we'll bring you forward. And we'll bring the uh, Avari Naharim. Uh, you boys come through. It's a bit messier than what I uh, first anticipated, but... Oh, well. You go after the, uh, the Lokrim bodyguard. And then you two... You can come around the back here. So, uh, you get off that and start running. So, we're already firing into this Lokrim bodyguard. Nice. Thorn Guardsmen are coming through. Where are they going now? Wherever they go, I want to just fire into them. So, yeah. Cool. We're firing away. This is a bit messy, isn't it? Get up there. Thorn Riders. If you come around this way as well. Not Thorn Riders. What are you? Rovanian Riders. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, they're going to be right in the center. So what we're going to do, we'll leave you there for now. And we'll get our crossbowmen. If we can get our crossbowmen and our boys here. Somehow spread across this way. That'd be great. You just get in there, really. You're the Moriquendi Sentinel. No, sorry. You're a Thala Rangers. Go fight the Balkov Tribesmen. You boys. I mean, it's okay. You can keep going around that way. These boys will come up and fight the Balkov Tribesmen. Ideally, I just want to shoot... There's just no real good, like, line of sight to the Lokrim bodyguard right now. Uh, and you boys fight the dragon riders. You get your shield wall on. Uh, the dragon guard, sorry. You boys come around this way as well. Can't get through quite through that, that area, but that's okay. Um, you get there. And start firing at the Lok Rim bodyguard. Where's the rest of these boys? You come around this way. So ideally, I want you to like get them along this side and hold them here. So if you could do that, that'd be fantastic. I know it's probably a bit of a uh, tough ask for you boys, but you can try it. <laughs> and then we can fire straight into the Lok Rim bodyguard. 
Good. Where was that Amanyar? Ah, Amanyar! No! <laughs> the Swordmasters, anyway. Let's go that way. And then over this side. Kill them. Get over here, so we've got a nice line of fire into the Locrum bodyguard. Nice, there we are. That should be nice. Get a straight line of fire. The crossbowmen are also firing, but not really a great arc, is it? They're firing all the way over. That's probably going to do a bit of friendly fire, but I'm not too bothered. The main thing is getting the Athala Rangers firing into that Locrim bodyguard. Don't fire at will. Fire at the Locrim bodyguard. So once you're done, good. And what we'll do now, we'll charge in. So we are fighting them on the town square, so that's going to be a bit more brutal than, you know, normal. But that's fine. Uh, now we'll get these boys through here. Dorwinian infantry. Fighting that Locrim bodyguard is not going to be fantastic, though, is it? Looking at it. If we can come... If you can all get out. That's not the way to get out, but okay. So that they just get a nice little clear shot on them again. That's better. Nice clear shot. Uh, nice and speedy. That that. Uh, if we didn't have the archers there, these all these units would be getting shredded. And I know they are a little bit shredded already, but now let's get you in. Let's get the leadership. Get the. Uh, Ath oh no, actually they're Athala Rangers, aren't they? Don't want them fighting. <laughs> have we killed all these boys yet? Oh god, it's it's been very close. <laughs> the Dragon Guard have actually shredded us over there. Uh, who are you? want you to, to come in and fight as well. Probably go after that Dragon Guard, honestly. I think the Locrim Bodyguard will get beaten now. So quite a brutal battle, really, for Mataram, but it's okay. Now get into your, to your Spear Wall. Fight them. There we are. Good. I think that's everyone apart from the General. Ah, oh, fantastic. A bit of a bloody battle, honestly, but it's fine. Nice. We killed, you know, 600, lost 360. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, the Rangers doing 100 as well. Thorn Guard 130. Quite nice. I love the Thorn Guard. For someone with such terrible, terrible attack, they do really, really well in that nice spear wall position. But anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, boys. Here we are. Mataram should be ours. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. Captain Vidusith's going to be, unfortunately, stuck outside, but anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I think we'll sack this time. And we didn't actually lose any buildings. And no, they don't have any watchtowers here. Ah, ah well. You get in there. And let's get the standing stones. Let's see what we can destroy. These mines, 640. Fantastic. Grain exchange. Practice range, we don't need that. Stables, we don't need that. Leather tunnel, we'll keep that. Trading post, we'll keep that. And the barracks, we don't need that either. Good. Good, good. Oh, we're so close to being able to get um, a port in Mistrand. So let's go see whether we can uh, sell map information to someone. No, 700. No, no one wants our map information. Oh, well. Um... No ways keeping on going. Filter up here. Hmm. You're coming all the way down this way. That'll be faster. Edwin. Uh, Edward in, sorry. You're there. And then fourth win, Conqueror of Mistrand. He's such a good general. Let's have a look at some of his chat, uh, some of his stats. Fourth win is the Lord of Strondos. He was given the castle and surrounding lands as a gift upon his successful conquest of the southern region from the dictatorial rebel lords who held the lands. His prowess in the battle, the respect he earned from his men, and his skill with siege warfare has meant that many regard Fourth win as Darwinian's first and best line of defense against the oncoming tide. Wow, two command, two command from defending, two command defending walls. Wow. He is really good. Dislikes rune. <laughs> Good at the walls. Despises Easterlings. <laughs> Nervous of outsiders. Conqueror of Mistrand. Avari officers. Promising tactician. Oh. 
Courageous plus three troop morale. Wow. And more morale from collects defeated enemies. And then plus one hit points from the marks of war as well. More morale from conscientious trainer. Oh my god, he's really, really good. What a great... It's just a shame he's not, you know, got a better general's bodyguard unit, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, they did destroy the standing stones here. So let's go for that straight away. And let's not worry about Mistran building the port just yet. We'll build it next turn. El Gair. Uh, these guys can't leave yet. Let's build something in the Burka. We've not built anything there. <laughs> let's build the Mason's Hall. Make everything cheaper in the future. Karasant. Uh, Santanui. Yeah, we're still building that. We need to save some money to get our, uh, our boys retrained next turn anyway. Uh, Carverad. Yeah, we'll leave the money anyway. We'll leave the rest of the money. Uh, fantastic. Well, Mataram is now ours. We've taken Lest back. We've uh, marched north from El Gair, And we've got Edwardin, who's marching on Wintirian Yar. And soon, the whole Sea of Rune will be ours. And that will be just glorious. The amount of money that we'll be making will be fantastic. And we'll start snowballing. Because we've not snowballed yet. We've just been quite canny with our troops and just gone uber aggressive uh, and not really built that much have we we've not really been building very often so what i want with you my friend i would like you to go govern mistrand because we want a governor in mistrand because it it will become very rich very soon uh once we've got a governor in there and we've got a port there it just needs a port and then um uh, let's have a look yeah you can see trade 610 already um so that's pretty nice. If we go for the trade summary, it's all just on land. So as soon as we get that port, we should be doing fantastically well. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.